Hi, welcome to Android App Development. In our previous module, we learn about Android Swipe Views. In this module, we will learn about saving data. In Android app, you can save data in three ways. First is using key value pair. Using Android share preferences, we can save data using a key value format. There is a other way to save data is using files, where file can be internal file or external file. And the third way is saving data in SQL database. In this module, we will focus on saving data as key value sets. To store data as key value sets or a, you can say a small collection of key value pair, Android provides shared preferences API. Shared preference objects provide simple read and write method that you can use to read from a file or to write into a file. To write into a file, you need to get a reader object using a shared preference object. And to read a value, you need a specific method like getInt, getString using your shared preference object. Now there are two ways to store a data into shared preference files. One is a default file where you don't specify the name of the file, it's a default file maintained by the system and you just store the value into the file and you access value from the file. That is the one way. And to do that we will use get preferences API. There is another way where you specify a file name along with the shared mode. Then you read from the file or write into the file. And to do that there is an API called get shared preferences. In our this module we will use both the APIs for reading data from the file and writing data into the file. So at the end of this module, we will create a simple app something like this where user types his address and he submit the address and whatever the address is submit, the address will be displayed here. And the next time whenever the user visit the app again, that uh, previous address whichever he has submitted will be shown here and that value, that uh, previous value we will access it from the shared preference files. So let's start with our project. What I did here is I have already created a simple project here and if you go to our main activity here I have created a simple form already this form how to create this form I explained it in our module third uh, where we created a simple Android app please visit that module to see how it works so what I did here is I have created a linear layout and in that linear layout first I laid out our edit text view after that I laid out our button for submitting and the third, I laid out the current address, a text view, which shows a, a static string current address and the text view address, where whichever the value user input in the edit text will be shown here in the last text view. And few more things I already did is, let's go to our string resources. Here, for storing the address, we need a key. So that key string is our this string and the value I'm using as an address you can use any other string if you want as a key and for a file name I'm using this uh, literal string literal as a default file dot txt so first one this one will be used as a key for storing a data and the second one will be used as a file name for storing a data into this file and in our main activity what I've done is so I have already set the on click listener for our button which we covered in our module third if you don't uh, know how to do this please visit our module third what i am doing here is i am getting the uh, view for my button and i am setting the on click listener and in the whenever the user click a button this method will be fired and and in this method what i am doing is i am getting the edit text view reference here in the edit text view and uh, from that i am getting a string which user entered in this string at address string and after that in our last text view which is for displaying the address I am setting the value so that way whenever you submit the address the address will be displayed at the bottom so in this module what we will try to do is we will store our address and when we launch our app again what we will do is we will show our address and this time we will get the address value from the shared preference file so to get the data from the shared preference file there are two ways one is to use the default file and one is to use the shared preference file which you specify so first we'll use the default file so to get the data from the default file and to write the data into the default file you need to write some code what i have done is i have already written some code here so now our goal is here that if in the shared preference 
file which is a based on the key value pair if our address key is present get the data and if our address key is not present just return as the null so to get the data from address key what i am trying to do here is i am using this get preferences api this api will give me the reference to our shared preference object and using this object what i will do is i will get the string for our key as you can see here i am getting our key from our string resources and after this i am passing this value to our shared preferences get string method so here what i am trying to do is that after getting our key i am telling my shared preference that give me a string which is a value for this key and that value i am storing in our existing address and if that value suppose suppose the key is not present in our shared preferences file or the or the default file what i am saying to system is that give me a null if the value for the key is not present and after that what i am trying to do here is if the existing address is null i am saying that don't set the address and if it's not null set the address so that way we are getting the value for a address key using this method and to set the value for address key what i am trying to do here is i am using this another method where i am passing this address key here sorry address value here and using this address value what i am telling the system now is uh, using a get preference api give me the shared preference from the shared preference i am getting the reference for our shared preference iterator and after that what i am telling the system is that this is my key for this key put a string data in my shared preference using editor so using editor we are putting a data into our shared preference and this is the address value which we are getting in this method and this is the key by using which we are saying the system that put this string in our shared preference and after this what i am saying that i am telling editor that commit this data so that this data stay in our shared preference for longer time as long as our app is installed on the device so just to call this api what i will do is when our activity is created in this case our main activity i will call the our api get address key value and if our address key is present in our shared preference file we will get the value and we will set the value using our text view so i'll just call this method here get address key value so this will get the address key value and set in the text view and here in our on click method what i will do is i will set the value in our shared preference so that the next time when we run the app we will get this value so to do that what we will do is set address key value and here i'll pass the address so let's just run this app now you can see that our app is launched and at present for the text view nothing is here now what i will do is i will type some address here like i'll say google head office and i'll i'll say submit so doing that what happened here is that our text view is displayed but this we set the directly text view now what i'll do is i'll just uh, kill our app and i'll launch it again and that time google head office value will be read from our shared preference so let me just launch our app again here so our app is being launched and now you can see that this google head office address is being retrieved from our shared preference and it is displayed here so now we learn how to store a key value pair using a default shared preference now there is one more way by which you can set the key value pair and you can retrieve the key value pair in our first example we have used a default shared preference now what we will do is we will use a shared preference where we can specify the file in which you want to store your key value pair and you can retrieve your data from the same file okay so to do that what i have done is here i have already created two method get address key value and set address key value what this method will do is it will try to get the address key value from a file and what this method will do is it will try to set the address key value in a file so let's just go to our get address key value file first so here what i am trying to do here is that first of all i am getting the our application context if you are using a fragment you can get the context using a get activity method and that will give you the context and after that what i am doing is i am trying to get the file name from our string resources that we have defined in our string resources so now i have got my file name after that what i am doing is i am calling a get shared preferences on the context object 
and I'm saying that this is the file name and the mode I'm providing is that private mode. Now what I'm telling the system is give me the key for our address resource and I got the address resource key. Now what I'm telling the system is that get me the value for this key and if that uh, key is not present provide me the null and that same values I am setting in our text view similar to our previous example. So only difference is that there we use the get preferences and here we are using the get shared preferences. Okay. So that way we will get the value and to set the value what we do is we say first of all get the context and then using the context we will say that get shared preference this is the file we will get and to write the data into the file we say give me the editor and after getting the editor we say that this is the key for my value and we put the key value in our editor and after that we commit. So that way we will set the data into the file. So only difference you can see here is we use the file name for getting the data or setting the data. Let's uh, call this in, in our onCreate method so that we can see that this is working. So what I will do is to get the value I will say get address from file value from file and to set I will say is uh, sorry set address value file and here I will pass the address as a string. So after this now if you will run our app now I am launching our app from the first time so now you can see that nothing no data is there now I will type the address as now I am typing the data as google head office and I will say submit so you can see that the address is displayed here now what I will do is I will kill my app and I will try to launch it again so I am going back for killing the app now I will launch my app again so now you can see that our data is displayed here but this time instead of getting data from the default preference file we got this from a file which we mentioned to the system to create and get the data and that file name is in our case is default text file which is defined here. So with this demo we are done with this module in our next module we will learn about how to use files and files can be stored under internal storage or the external storage. I hope you enjoyed this module. Thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for our next module.